The internal iliac artery is the main artery supply in the pelvis. It arises from the bifurcation of the common iliac at the level of the sacral promontory which is the most posterior aspect of the pelvic brim. As such, the internal iliac exists in the lesser pelvis. It's divided into anterior and posterior trunks. There are eight branches from the anterior and three from the posterior. Beginning with the anterior trunk, its first branch is the umbilical artery, which is an important artery in fetal circulation, but is obliterated distally in post-uterine life. We can identify the obliterated distal end of the vessel as the medial umbilical ligament. More proximally, it gives rise to the superior vesicle artery, which supplies the superior aspect of the bladder. That's the umbilical artery there, giving rise to the superior vesicle. Next, we have the obturator artery, which I've highlighted in green to make it more distinct. It travels in the obturator canal toward the obturator foramen. It supplies the adductor muscles in this region. We're looking at a female model here, and the next branch only exists in female anatomy. It is the uterine artery, which supplies the uterus, the vagina, the ovaries and the fallopian tubes. That's the uterine artery there. Here we have the inferior vesicle artery, which some anatomical texts suggest is only present in males and is replaced by the vaginal artery in females. It descends toward the bladder and in men supplies the ductus deferens, the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland. That's the inferior vesicle artery just there. Next, we have the vaginal artery in pink, which again is often considered to be the equivalent of the inferior vesicle artery, which in some texts is stated to be only present in males. The vaginal artery supplies the lower part of the vagina as well as the rectum. We have the middle rectal artery, which passes inferiorly towards the lower rectum, to anastomose with the superior rectal artery. I'll bring in the rectum to give us some context here. If we look around to the posterior aspect, we'll see the middle rectal artery passing inferiorly towards the lower rectum. Next, we have the internal pudendal artery, which initially traverses the piriformis muscle before passing through the greater sciatic foramen to exit the pelvis. The greater sciatic foramen is the space superior to the sacrospinous ligament, and through this, the internal pudendal artery passes. It then passes inferiorly to supply the perineum, including the external genitalia. That's the internal pudendal artery there. The last branch of our anterior trunk is the inferior gluteal artery, which is considered the terminal branch of the internal iliac and which also passes through the greater sciatic foramen to supply muscles of the buttock and thigh in this area. That's the inferior gluteal artery. And with that, we have the eight branches of the anterior trunk of the internal iliac artery all represented. We'll remove all of these now so that we can move on to the posterior trunk. The first branch of which is the iliolumbar artery. It's said to divide into an iliac and lumbar branch the iliac branch supplying the iliacus muscle and the lumbar branch supplying quadratus lumborum and psoas major. So that's the iliolumbar artery, which divides into iliac and lumbar branches to supply iliacus, quadratus lumborum and psoas major. 
Next, we have the lateral sacral artery, which proceeds inferiorly to, to supply the skin and muscle dorsal to the sacrum. That's the lateral sacral artery. Our last branch is the superior gluteal artery. It passes through the greater sciatic foramen above the piriformis muscle. Let's move around posteriorly to appreciate that a bit better. So there's the superior gluteal artery passing through the greater sciatic foramen, superior to the piriformis, and supplying the piriformis along the way, as well as obturator internus and gluteus medius and minimus. I like to remember the branches of the internal iliac artery with the mnemonic, I love you sumo sil. We have the love heart stylized as a, a, a um, less than sign and a three. So that breaks up into internal pudendal artery, inferior vesicle artery, inferior gluteal artery. Uh, we can sort of think of this less than sign as a V on its side. So that's vaginal. Then we have uterine, superior vesicle, umbilical, middle rectal, obturator, superior gluteal, iliolumbar, and lateral sacral. Here are some of the pelvic viscera to help ground our arteries in context. We see the vaginal artery and the uterine artery, both contributing to, to the supply of the, the vagina and uterus. We see the inferior vesicle and superior vesicle arteries supplying the bladder. And we see the middle rectal artery supplying the rectum. The internal pudendal artery is, of course, crucial to the supply of the external genital is essential for the supply, supplies the external genitalia and the perineum. And the uterine artery also supplies the fallopian tubes and the ovaries just here. Okay, I hope that was useful. All right, that's it for the internal iliac artery. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.